great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your cause. Yosef the real. There shall not any man be able to stand before the all the days of thy life. As I was with Moshe, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moshe my servant commanded thee turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper whatsoever thou goest This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do all according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success <laughs> hip the real for the message hip the for the real. energy for the flow why let go that's what I'm talking about. That's what that I'm talking that about. Drive. That 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 drive. Wow. That's just a little bit of that. Yosef the real, he's live right now. You know what I mean? Uh, you can catch Yosef every uh, Sundays, 7 o'clock Pacific. Uh, following that, my jigger, I am reworking the whole schedule. Please be patient with me. We're all being patient with each other, uh, you know, we're being framed in shape, man, in real time. So, you see what a little bit of patience uh, gets you, you know, when when we move, we move like giants. You know, we step, bang, you know, it's a big step. So, you know, it might feel like we're taking 10 steps at once sometimes, you know. Then it might feel like we're just going with the flow. And right now, it's definitely a time to flow because our next step will be Dragon. Dragon style, man. It won't even be a, a step. We'll just be uh, flying on you. You know what I mean? Flying above the barrier. That's how we flowing, man. Be a sponsor on the wall. Yosef was actually the first dragon sponsor on the wall, man. Let me tell you something, man. We tribing up around here. You already know what it is. When we're talking about tribing up and having our family being in the ether, you know, you're supporting all of our family, man. So... It's uh, it's our design, you know, be a Copper Dragon sponsor, 25, uh, silver for 50 a month, and gold dragon for 100 a month. And uh, much a high, man, to all our dragon sponsors that have, uh, you know, heeded the call, man, and, um, you know, went ahead and uh, kept the water flowing for the tribe, you know what I'm saying? Yosef the Real was the first dragon sponsor, man, much a high, Yosef the Real, Zion Train, much a high. Simon Johnson, Mucha Hob, Jaguar Olmec, Jaguar Inca, Mucha Hob, and our newest dragon sponsor, man, Con Fresh, man, Mucha Hob. So, 
Watch out for that dragon room. It's going to be a special room I'm building just for the dragon sponsors to go vibe vibe all the way up to, you know, have nothing but dragon drive, man, as it pertains to our indigenous culture. And, uh, you know, just have a nice little dragon flow. Be a dragon sponsor on the wall. You also get 50% off of all drop gear for life, man, for the lifetime of your sponsorship, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I know you're doing it, man, just to keep our water flowing, but we definitely want to give back to you. And you also get a free shirt, man, <laughs> for being a dragon sponsor on the wall. So, much of have and uh, much more is to come, man, to help, you know, give back to our sponsors. And, um, you know, we're going to increase this because every dollar goes in to the whole pot. You know, this is just our pot. You know, once our shows get more developed and, and uh, you know, our our independent, you know what I'm saying, DJs and uh, show hosts, you know, really, uh, f you know, take flight. It's going to be amazing because they're going to have their own, you know, sponsors and local sponsors, community sponsors and all that stuff is going to be supporting them. Uh, you know, Brother Nature got a show. And every time he says, uh, oh, man, it's time for that flavor in your ear, sponsored by Drop Nation, I already know, you know what I mean, that he's going to have, you know, local, you know, sponsors that are, you know, interested in, you know, tuning in for Brother Nature's show, man. Every Thursday at 7 o'clock Pacific, they're going to tune in. So, but this particular sponsorship goes into the pot so that everyone has something coming in now. So, you know, I'm just finishing up getting the uh, my software right so I can do payouts for this month, you know, so that we can pay out, end of, you know, equally all 20 plus tribal members, you know, that are in the ether all throughout the week. We'll be getting all of this equally, you know what I mean? So if we have, uh, you know, five uh, Dragon sponsors now, that's about $200 we have coming in. That $200 is going to be divided equally for all 21, 22 tribal members uh, that are dropping it right now, you know what I mean? So as this grows, you see we're going to have a pot coming in for our family, whether they're making $5, $5 a month, $100 a month, but soon, you know, they will be making you know, enough to start really saving and building and buying their own land, um, you know, uh, building our own land, putting it all in our pot. We can do all kind of creative things together. We can put our money together. You know, this just allows us to have something going on. So please be a dragon sponsor on the wall, man. Support the tribe and keep supporting the drive, man. Yo, Seth the Real is dropping it, man. We're all just, uh, you know, going to keep tuning up and ethering up, man. Support Aqua V, man. Where's my... Where's my sister, man? This sister is so amazing, man. And she's getting her green van back on the road. So please help her. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be an all-going thing to keep the water flowing for Aqua V. So even when she gets the van on the road, we're still supporting her, you know, as she comes, you know, to that mountain. You know what I mean? Sister V was, you know, the first to, you know, come with, with shelter. <laughs> you know what I mean? So she's the shelter. So we want to make sure we keep the water going so that the shelter has a flow. She has money for gas, whatever she needs. As she's, you know, getting hijacked free, getting off the grid, you know, really taking those steps that we all should be taking. So she's a pioneer. And we got to support the pioneers, man, because, you know, this is the fearless, the fearless tribe, man, that's out there saying, yo, I need to be closer to the mountains today. I need to be closer to the mountains today. And that's how... Aqua V is, man, so support this, go find me, man, keep supporting it, just like J. Stu's baby fun, the beautiful baby Hada Sa is growing beautifully, thanks to you, you've supported so much, so keep supporting the baby fun for J. Stu and K. Stu, we love them so much, and again, if it ain't about J. Stu, it ain't about shit, we're talking about a portal, a door, and we appreciate J. Stu for his fearlessness to open up a door for the tribe to see what we needed to see. And we'll always give a high and honor to J. Stu and K. Stu, Agua V, Mario Chalice, you know what I'm saying? All the tribe that, you know, man, you know, saw what we needed to see. You dig? So much a high to our tribe. Support our tribe. Support our wall of protection emergency fund. We're going to keep building this because when the emergency happens, we want to make sure we have 20, 30, 40, 50 Gs ready, something, whatever we need. Right now we have a few thousand that that we can uh you know do something with, but we're gonna need more support. So please, you know, make it a normal habit to check in, man, and support our tribe. Download the app, man. We got over a thousand downloads, so much a hive and just keep us uh, spreading the word, spreading the wave. And of course, man, follow on IG, cause 
all of our aquas got the drop. Our aqua Young got the drop. <laughs> Chef Candy, Sister Ty got the drop. They're over there Zion and, and Zion, man. Two of the most powerful, focused, and determined sisters I know. I'm honored to surf the wave with your commitment and steady foundation of water, man. Chef Candy, Aqua Ty, you already know, man. Foundation. Foundation, man. It's all about action, man. You know what I'm saying? And when you got the tribe coming together with, you know, not trying to, you know, focus on each other's differences and this and shit that you can't help, but really come together and say, you know what? We need to do this. Are you with me? I don't give a damn about this and about that. My tribe is what my tribe does. You dig? Our tribe is as our tribe does. Drop Nation is as Drop Nation does, man. Keep getting in that drop library, man. Aqua Ty is putting in work, man. And we're going to be, you know, it's like under construction. We just, you know, getting everything in and, you know, watch out. It's going to be, you know, even more and more beautiful and crystallized. So please uh, hit up <laughs> Aqua Ty at Ty Battle at 432 com. This sister does so much. I'm just laughing because it's like she does so much, you know what I mean, between her poetry, her support in real time. You know what I mean? She's the first man to stand up when it's time to get it done. You dig? So she's like, what do you need? I said, well, we got to get this library popping. She's starting to drop some drop for me, man, so that we can always have new drop. We try to really have, my goal is to have a few new drops coming in, you know, at least daily, man. So always you can check up and get your, you know, your, your suit up, your 420 drop, just in case you need to know how to roll backwards with Waka Faka Flame, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, our dragons returning. We might check this out pretty soon. We might check some of this out for the dismount. I don't know, man. We just surfing the wave today, Chef Candy. I mean, so things are gonna keep dropping. Uh, the vibe suites are gonna keep getting crystallized, tuned up. I'm about to do a whole, a whole revamp on all these. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be beautiful. Listen in, listen in. Support the drop shop, man. You already know, man. The drop shop is going down. The drop shop is going down. And get in the drop chatter, man. You can always check here for your uh, live schedule. I know I need to update that. That's what I'm working on. Video blog. And I'm working on the Drop Artist Lounge as well, man. For my artists to come vibe separately. They just want to come kick it with other artists. It's going to be a beautiful place for you. So that's what's happening here. This is 432 to Drop Radio. This is a crystallizing environment for our artists. You know what I mean? For our tribe. Because it's all one thing. Our people are musicians, right? Our people are creative, right? You got poetry, you got uh, paintings and stuff. We're gonna start focusing, um, featuring paint, you know, paintings and painters, and you know, what I'm saying like, like you know, different, all all different genres of artists. You know what I mean? Fashion designers like RKJ, man, what it do? We look forward to them time capsules, man, and all that, man. So I'm just reintroducing you to something that's crystallizing. You know, we're back from our Utah Shabbat trip, so. We're able to, uh, you know, get these things in order here. It's a beautiful thing, man. Drop us some love, man. Drop us some love, man. We're going to keep surfing the way. Hold on, man. Let me update this so we can, so we can get our love in. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Drop us some love, man. Get in the drop chatter. Someone's always in here, man, to holler at you right now. We got X and Yosef. Guardians on the wall. Dragons on the wall, man. <laughs> They just having a good little one too, man. You know what I mean? We're talking purple dragons with Dawi. He's up in here. Shout out to Dawi. Exilence, man. Holding it down. Having a good little one too, man. Man, shout out to Dawu Khan 9, man. Who's always just letting you know, man. You on fire. Are you ready? Are you ready? He said he be devouring hijacks like, uh. See how satisfied this dragon look? Because he devoured the hijack. You dig? I mean, it's just, oh, speaking of devouring, Sister Ty wrote a poem called Destroying Ancient Lands, man. Destroying Ancient Lands. Our many and vast lands across the plain has been very recently raided. It is relentlessly sought out and destroyed as it is being found and invaded. They leave utter and total destruction as they stealthily attack and pillage. They raped and killed our ancestors as they reduced our tribe's home or village. Our home is being torn through, rummaged, and boldly infiltrated and ransacked. Our atmosphere is being 
altered and our frequency grid is now being hijacked. Our dead and young are disrespected, dug, dug up, spiritually violated and ravished. They are mistreated and misplaced in time by the depraved, psychopathic savage. We have been completely surrounded and tragically bombarded and intruded. They came with swine, Jesus, and swords. And they were decreed papal bull suited. All our tribes past, present, and future were hoodwinked, robbed, and plundered. They must now realize when they ruined us, they fatally faltered and blundered, destroying ancient land. Aqua Ta Battle. Got the drop, man. A hop to A D. He's in the chat, man. Nella Seven, man. She's been contributing so much, man. Love to Jackie Anthony. I always gotta give Jackie Anthony some love. We're gonna drop some Jackie Anthony drop forever. You know what I'm saying? That's some forever drop, man. So get in the drop chat, man. You know, come fresh, man, with it, dude. The Fresh Kind, man, Chef Candy, KB, The Hijack Assassin, and everybody's in here. Oh, Riri's in here. Shout out to Z Lion. Man, it's a beautiful thing, man. All right, man. All right, man. You know what I mean? Uh, enough of the mushy stuff. Enough of the mushy stuff. Get in there and surf the wave. Today, man, we're talking some drop. You know what I mean? We're talking some drop. Let me see, man. Uh, I actually have to write stuff down. So you know, we're talking some drop. And this all got a uh, re sparked for me by watching that Ray Hagen's uh, Rex 84 video that we featured, man, you know, maybe a couple years ago. But I'll definitely get some of that for the dismount. So you know, it ain't no play play. Or maybe even before, man, you know what I mean? It's, it's, that, it's that serious, it's that deep. But much of how I've shot by time. Feels good to vibrate, let go. So we're gonna get on this uh, garden plot. We're gonna get on this PPS 23 policy planning study. We're gonna get on this night train 84. We're gonna get on this national security memorandum 200, the global 200 report, Operation Cable Splicer. Of course, we're talking Rex 84, but let's start slow. Let's get it from here, man. King. Alfred's plan. Code name Rex eighty four. Now this is something that you just don't, you know, drop one time and move on. This is something that, you know, we owe it to ourselves to revisit it because it's not like it just, you know, whisks away. You know, what I'm saying just, uh, just vapors away. You know, what I mean, and it's all gone because it's out of your psyche. And you'd rather watch LeBron James and see, you know what I'm saying? Is he going to get swept? Is he really going to get swept? Damn. Yep. He got swept. I, I wonder if it's worse not getting to the playoffs than to be a dude that goes to the playoff every year and has that type of record. You're like, man, but maybe he don't got enough help. Maybe he just don't got enough help. See, now I'm in the loop. Just like that. And I got away from the actual target. And that's how fast we get caught in loops. We talking King James, LeBron James, or the King Alfred's plan. It's all relative. Totally repugnant to the United States Republic Constitution for people under its protection. Let's get it. You know, we're going to get a little here, a little there, and see how it blends. Get back to that Ray Hagan's video. Um, you know what I mean? And surf the wave. Let's go. Introduction. The plan first appeared in John A. Williams' 1967 novel, The Man Who Cried, I Am. Damn. My, come on, man. Come on, man. You know what I mean? I can't make this stuff up. You're going to see over and over again. They're going to be like... Cable splicer in preparation for a mass exodus of, uh, you know, illegal aliens crossing the border. You know that. But okay. Okay. Mass exodus. You're going to hear it's all about the people. They are preparing for your awakening. 
you're hearing more and more about dragons. Mud Fossil University is going in bone. You dig? You're hearing more and more about the return. You watch Jurassic Park. All they're talking about is these dragons returning. Oh, dinosaur. Yeah. Remember, dragons come in all forms, not just flying dragons. Some are land dragons with no wings. I mean, you're not just talking about a reptile when you say dragon. You're talking about seeing clearly. It's not just about the three-dimensional object in front of you. It's the frequency when you talk dragon. You're talking fire, air, water, earth, frequency. Spiral. Nine. Portal. Doorway. I am. The man who cried, I am. And based on that, the man who's crying, I am. Who's crying to the creator? Who's the man that's crying to the creator? It's the Negro crying out in slavery, right? On his own land, on her own land. So who's the man? Who's the woman crying to Hawa? Now they say it's a fictionalized account of the life and death of Richard Wright in the afterword to later editions. William compares the King Alfred's plan to intelligence programs devised by J. Edgar Hoover in the 1960s to monitor the movements of black militants. It also bears similarities to rumors in the early 1950s surrounding the McCarran Act, an anti-communist law in which political subversives were to be rounded up and placed in concentration camps. During a national emergency when his novel was first published, Williams photocopy portions of the book detailing the King Alfred's plan and left copies in their subway car seats around Manhattan. As a result, word of the King Alfred's plan spread throughout the black community, and the truth of his existence was often assumed to be unchallenged. Performer and musician Jill Scott Heron created the song The King Alfred's Plan, included on his 1972 album Free Will that takes the plan at face value, Jim Jones, head of the Apostolic Socialist People's Temple, discussed the plan at length and numerous recordings of his rant style speeches, both in the USA and in Jonestown, community in Guyana. Guyana? When you think Guyana, you automatically better be thinking Mount Rorema. Treating it as a com as completely genuine. So, what we're talking about right now, what Ray Hagens is on the pulpit talking about, is something that is deeply embedded in this corporation, and you can't get it out of your psyche because you see it happening in front of your face, and they know it, and they're saying, "Yeah, but the people ain't gonna believe you." It's so detailed. If the people ain't going to believe that. We really have a plan to round them up in eight hours flat all across the country. We could round all these Negroes up in eight hours flat. We're doing exercises all the time. International exercises. International exercises. We dragons on the wall. The watchers on the wall so when we see clearly you better say something because you didn't come here to say nothing Jim Jones was yelling about it you know what I mean in his rant style speeches they said right so King Alfred's plan codename Rex 84 King Alfred in the event of widespread and continuing and coordinated racial disturbances in the United States. Coordinated. 
All right. So this is 100% about black people. 100% about the Negro, about the so-called Negro, about the copper color con, right? The American, right? The Amaru Khan, right? It's racial, racial, tribal. Cross out racial, say tribal. They're talking tribes, not races. Tribes. Tribal disturbances in the United States. King Alfred, at the discretion of the president, hmm, is to be put into action immediately. Participating federal agencies, National Security Council, Department of Justice, Central Intelligence Agency, Department of Defense, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Department of Interior, participating state agencies under federal jurisdiction, National Guard Unit, State Police, participating local agencies under federal jurisdiction, City Police. Alright. I mean... You know, you got all the military stuff. So, if your people are in the military, or if you're listening to this and you're in the military, and you're like, yeah, you know, I'm just, you know, got to do what I got to do. Look, man. Look, man. We need to really focus. Because it ain't about, it's not about your plan. It's about the King Alfred's plan. I know you have a plan. You're like, you know, I'm going to use it for school. I'm going to use it to... Get some money for a minute, get you know some stability. It makes sense, you know, they'll take care of us for a minute. Yeah, man. I know you got a plan, right, you know. But they have a plan too. Code name Rex 84. And your plan might run out of time. So you need to know if you are in these situations. And you think you straight because you on the inside. They have a plan for this man. But let's keep going. Memo. National Security Council. Even before 1954. When the Supreme Court of the United States of America. Declared unconstitutional. Separate education. And recreational facilities. Racial unrest and discord. Have become very nearly. A part of the American way of life. But the way of life was repugnant to most Americans since 1954. However, that unrest and discord has have broken into widespread violence. <laughs> so the people reacting to this undue pressure, undue wickedness, undue system. Now, yeah, it erupts into widespread violence as coordinated which increasingly have placed the peace and stability of the nation in dire jeopardy. So they plan this shit. They create a volatile environment. And when it erupts, they say, good. Now we can use that to say that we have a stability issue and we need a plan around all these Negroes up and incinerate them. <coughs> we need a plan around all these Nagas up and get them out of here so that we can have their land once and for all because since the Chickamauga 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 got rolled up on for the first 20 years since 1776 up until 1796 the Chickamauga those wars never stopped and this is the final <laughs> you know what I mean the fatality this is a fatality move it's called Rex 84 and even if you are in these uh, services pay attention because it's not about your plan it's about the plan alright so let go so this eruption this violence they have a peace and stability issue that they created this violence was resulted in loss of life limb and property all the because of the riots they talking about it has cost the taxpayers of this nation billions of dollars. Look at these crybabies. After they create the situation, they're crying about it, right? And the end is not yet in sight. This same violence has raised the tremendously grave question as 
to whether the races can ever live in peace with each other. Because they came in peace, right? Yeah, they did come in peace. But remember, there's two different, separate manifestations of peace. There's your peace that comes with land, being one with your power, you know. And their peace, which is having all your shit and jacking you and stepping on your neck until they've jacked you. And then they'll keep going to other lands and doing the same thing. Because it's all about spreading out. We spread out a virus. Spread, 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 invade forever. Perpetual slavery equals perpetual invasion. They are permanent infiltrators. Permanent invaders. You require permanent peace from a permanent infiltrator. Permanent invader. And now their descendants say, yeah, yeah, well, whatever. We're here now and it makes sense because they hey, are permanent invaders. They come with that mentality because that's what they do. Now, we can't do that. You know what I'm saying? We have too much of a heart. We really don't want to intrude on nobody else. We just want our own. You know what I mean? Other folks is literally on your land and they just, you know, act like history don't matter all of a sudden. So that... They can be at peace, but is their peace, your peace? Can these races, these tribes live in peace with each other? Each passing month has brought new intelligence that despite new laws passed to alleviate the condition of the minority, co-word the Negro. The Negro I, still is not satisfied. You know what I'm saying? Demonstrations and rioting, you know what I'm saying. The Negro, the nigger, right, still is not satisfied. These niggers, you know what they want to say. These niggers still aren't satisfied. Demonstrations and rioting have become a part of familiar scene. You know, you know what they want to say. Troops have been called out in city after city across the land. Troops just like now, right? And our image as a world leader severed, severely damaged. Our image is damaged because we ain't got our niggas in check. We don't got our property in check. We looking weak. We looking weak like we can't control our niggers. You know what they want to say. Our enemies press closer, seeking the advantage possibly at at a time during one of these outbreaks of violence, the minority has adopted an almost military posture. They're talking the Panthers, right? The Black Panthers, the Wakanda, right? The Wakanda, the Jaguar, kills with a single blow, love to Kara Mayo. You're talking about the Negro, right? The Negro is military posture because the Negro is the Dragon. Wall of protection. You can't not be military posture. You were built for this. You were built to protect the earth. You were built to protect your vortexes. You were built for war against the hijack. Not against your brother though. So now we in the loop. We at war against our brothers, B's and C's, you know what I'm saying? BD's, GD's, you know what I'm saying? Folks, Vice, man, look, man, we at war with each other, right? But that's not what we built for. We built for war against the hijack. We built for, you know, that war against that 440 hertz, that frequency. We ain't built to be slaughtering each other. Not trusting each other, not rocking with each other, not loving each other, not supporting each other. We ain't built for that. That's why we dying, man. Because we ain't doing what we built for. We ain't tribing up. We ain't vibing up. Our enemies pressed closer, seeking the advantage, possibly at a time during one of these outbreaks of violence. See, this is all about fear. And they want you to be in the same fear spell. 
look, man, the gig is up. You know, the gig is up. You know what I mean? Where we are afraid to talk about it, afraid to talk about our captivity or else this and, and that. I mean, goodness gracious, man. You want to be in fear forever? You want to be in perpetual forever fear forever and raise your children with that fear and they raise their children with that fear and they raise their children with that fear. I mean, if you fear anything, fear a perpetual fear, fear a loop of perpetual fear. Like that's what you're in right now. Raising your children to be afraid. They raise their children to be afraid. Come on, man talking freedom right freedom don't come with fear fear and freedom don't get along so our enemies press closer seeking the advantage possibly at a time during one of these outbreaks of violence the minority has adopted an almost military posture to gain its objectives which are not clear to most Americans because they talking the hijack how can it be clear to the hijack how can it be clear to a parasite, to an invader? Something that's eating away at our mama, eating away at the mem, the water, poisoning the water, slaughtering our priests, and you want clarity. Look, man, I'm just a descendant on this land waking up like everybody else. Don't come over here and judge me. Don't look for perfection. I'm just busting up out this concrete. I might have some scars and some scrapes and some bruises. But don't tell me I ain't a rose coming out the concrete. And don't tell yourself that you don't see these roses coming out the concrete, man. And Tupac Tech told you that. The minority has adopted an almost military posture to gain its objectives. But we are not clear, you know what I'm saying, uh, which are not clear to most Americans. We, we don't get it. We don't get why they're fighting back. It is expected, therefore, that when those objectives are denied, the, min the minority, the blacks, the Negroes, racial war must be considered inevitable. Ain't that the same threat today? The race war. The race war. Oh, when the race war happens, everyone's getting amped up for the race war. Is you in that frequency or are you in the mind of a hijack? Come on, man. This race war shit is their shit. You know what I'm saying? They came for the war. They just popped up and here's the race war. And then now we're getting sucked into when the race war happens again. We was chilling, mind our own damn business, not even checking for you, man. We had cities and gold and shit. Now we're fearful about a race war back in 1954. This is 2018. We're still talking about a race war. It seemed like we're in a race war loop. You know what I mean? A perpetual race war possibility always lurking around the corner every year. Oh, it's going to pop off. Oh, man, it's going to pop off. For what? Hey, if it ain't popping off for freedom, you know what I mean? It ain't popping off for shit, but a perpetual fear tactic. When that emergency comes, we must expect the total involvement of all 22 million members 22 million members of the minority, men, women, and children. The full, total involvement, man. Look, look, man. I'm getting much more out of this than I thought I would. And I've read this before a few times. You know what I'm saying? And now, like, I'm seeing clearly like a mug right now, man. They, they know you're going to come with full force. They know you're coming with everything but are they factoring in your dragons waking up I mean I'm sure they are with their technology and their big black budgets you know they're you know breeding dragons as we speak to fight these dragons right 
Oh, yeah, that's true. They're breeding dragons as we speak. And your dragons are in captivity. So just like every other war, this will be a dragon war. Please believe it. And prepare your eyes to see it. And these dragons that are coming out this earth are the security system of the mama when she's ready to fight. Please believe these volcanoes pop off and the dragons return. No one to talk about it. It feels too creepy, right? But man, you've been programmed. You should be like, woo, let go. That's redemption, man. I mean, Moses did, you know, create this copper dragon. They say bronze. They mean copper. And whoever it breathed on got life. I think we should learn from that. About what's about to happen next. And the 22 million members back then that they're calling. Oh, believe every Naga got a dragon. Let's get it, man. But you're coming with full force. All right. It says, for once this project is launched, its goal is to terminate once and for all the minority threat. Once and for all. Man, didn't we just finish saying that this is they finish him? This is their fatality, but will it work? Will it work against themselves? The minority threat, the Negro threat that they want to terminate once and for all. The threat to the whole of American society. The minority threat to the whole of American society. Hold on, man. Maybe I just, maybe I just don't see clear. I don't know what you mean. What does American mean? Because I think you might be using it, but maybe you're using it correctly as it applies today. So that's the trick, right? There's two meanings for American. There's a duplicity. We're living in the, in the flip side, right? They flipped our map. We're upside down. All these things. They flip our language. We're reading from uh, left to right instead of right to left. They flipped our minds. What did spirit science dude say? He said, we used to be, you know, I guess more what they would call female brain, more creative brain, you know, creator, creative, creator, creator brain. And then they flipped us into what they call a male brain or left brain, which is more technological, this, this, that, this, 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 that. And we got to tech our way back to this creative zone that we can surf the wave in and go with a flow and hear the sound. They flipped it. So there's two Americans. Huh? All right. The American we're talking here is not you, right? Because you're the minority. Huh? We're the minority. Hmm. 22 million? 22 million Negroes? Cause I don't. I'm pretty sure they're not including uh, Latinos at this time, and you know, so-called. You know what I mean? And what uh, Ray Hagens was saying was later they amended it to include Hispanics, Latino, and all that. But this was originally all about black people, man. As you can read, military. You know, they they took a military uh, resistance and all that. I mean, yeah, the military posture. They're talking about the Panthers, man. The Black Panthers. So, when the emergency comes, we expect the total involvement. All of you. They know you're going to tribe up eventually. But they're trying to orchestrate it to your chaotic demise, right? And the Most High is sending out a sound to orchestrate your total involvement in returning to your land, your mountains, your trees. Because surely you returning to your mountains and trees kind of throws a wrench. I mean, can you imagine if 22 Nagas return home? Hey, look, there's still 700, over 700 million acres. 700 million acres of the Grand Canyon. Or just, uh, excuse me, of, of land. That has been confiscated by the government that's sitting in a federal trust today. 
They're holding over 770 million acres of your land in a trust because they know they got to give it back if you choose up. See, 22 million people can run in the street with tanks and, you know, pretty much be in their, in their battle zone on their grid. Or 22 million people can return to that 700 million acres that they got in the trust right now. Shit. Even without that, you can spread your ass out into your mountains, into your trees. You dig? And I'm sure that would change the entire game. But that's not my plan. The Most High told you that. Return. Assemble yourselves. Cry out to your mountains, your trees. So when that emergency comes, they can expect total involvement of all 22 million members of you Nagas, men, women, and children. For once this project is launched, its goal is to terminate you. Oh no, hop in my FEMA truck. Hop in my FEMA boat. Terminate you once and for all. The majority threat, I mean minority they say, right, is <laughs> to the whole of American society. Back to this word American. What does it mean? Does it mean white society? Let's see. Maybe. Maybe. American. This is in the 1828 Noah Webster Dictionary. A native which means natural, all right, original, all right, of America, originally applied to the originals or copper colored races. Now they're saying race war, and they're saying there's copper colored races already here. You know, that dark, deep, ruddy copper. Yeah, man. Negro. Right? Black people, you call them. Today, you call them black people. You think they're from Africa. They are the American. They are the Khans. They are the Khan dynasty. Khan means priest. Khan is a priesthood. They are a copper color priesthood. Found right here. Hmm. A copper color priesthood that the pilgrims are coming here. Right? Thanksgiving, you got pilgrims. Pilgrims make pilgrimages to holy lands. Oh, a priesthood of copper color, ruddy, brown people that you're making a pilgrimage to because they're in the holy land. Oh, this is Israel. These are the Hebrews. Right. We had to read all through that. Khan. Khan. But now they take your Khan. Found here, right? So you were found here by the European. But now applied to the descendants of Europeans that are born here. So a virus takes you over. They take your title. They take your land and your title. And they become you. Now, if I say I'm an American, they say, yeah, well, you're patriotic. You, you love the flag. Oh, yeah, right. Because they say... The name American must always exalt the pride of patriotism. Oh, Washington said that. So now when we turn, talk about American, it must be as a patriot to their country because we've been hijacked and invaded. We are no longer talking about the copper color Naga. That's the true American in their own dictionary in 1828. And you want to push this out of your head, your psyche. And just focus on the now applied part, right? Now applied to the descendants. Now applied to the descendants. Bang, got it. This is what you want to focus on when I say American? This is what you want to focus on? You say American. Oh, now applied to the descendants. Now applied to the descendants. But if you say now applied, it infers that it was applied something else prior. And that prior is the copper colored Naga. And these are just big facts. All right. So 
when we're talking American society, the con, the priesthood, are we talking copper color races anymore or the now applied part to the descendants of Europeans born in America? Are we just talking patriotism in the corporation? No more Naga, no more originals. You see, the hijack is real, man. But their illusion <laughs> is a thing of the past because it's coming down fast. Wow. So they want to terminate you once and for all. The copper color Naga found here, all right, who's a threat to their hijack society because they want your shit. And indeed, the free world, the rest of the hijacks. That free world just means the rest of the hijacks. Because the hijack considers themselves now free because they've been unleashed like a virus. They were at one time, you know, under control. They were in check, right? Preston John got them in check. Uh, but now they are free. Free from the spell that they consider. Oh, the, we were under a spell. Now we're free to fuck it all up. We're free to fuck up everything. We're free to create havoc and chaos and torment. That's what their freedom means. It's not your free. Don't get tricked by these stupid ass words. Now let's go. Chairman, National Security Council, preliminary memo, Department of Interior, under the King Office plan. The nation has been divided into 10 regions, probably more now. In case of emergency, minority members will be evacuated from the cities by federalized National Guard units, local and state police, and if necessary, by units of the regular armed forces. My people, if you are in the military, then they will, you know, use you for a minute to do this. And eventually they will turn on you, too. And it's written. Let's go. Using public and military transportation and detain in nearby military inst installations until a further course of action has been decided. And these are their regions, man. Capital region. Northeast region, Southeast region, Great Lakes region, South Central region, Deep South region one, Deep South region two. Like Ray Hagan said, it must be a lot of Nagas in the South to be rounding up. Great Plains, Rocky Mountain region, Southwest region, West Coast region. No attempt will be made to seal off the Canadian and Mexican borders. <laughs> all right, because it's all going to plan, right? So Secretary, Department of Interior, 849 to 899, King of England, who slaughtered thousands under the disguise of protecting the European religion of Christianity. As a result, he was referred as one of the most noble kings in England's history. All right, so I guess they just want us to know that. Now let's go, man. There are 12 major minority organizations that are all familiar to the 22 million. You see what I'm saying? So they're focusing on whoever has the people's ear. If they're familiar with the rest of the Negro people, so-called Negroes, then that so-called Negro organization is now a target, right? So, you know, now they got social media and all the folks speaking up on that. They already got on their list, but you already knew what you were signing up for. You knew that you were here to free your people. You're here to free your people. You know what I mean? Or you say, I'm in a perpetual slavery, and that's all right. I like slavery. But the issue is, when you read this, it's not going to be sweet for you because you think that slavery has been sweet for you because you've been able to go, to go to work and, you know, play with their monopoly money system. And, you know, you feel good. You got a lot of paper and plastic. You got, you got special types of plastic, and you got lots of paper and, and, and on your electronics, you see numbers, right? So nothing real, just a bunch of fake shit. But you are well respected in this system. So you like it. Well, it's it's going to get it's going to get a little hairy. It's going to get uh, all of, <laughs> all your comforts going away. Let's just be true. All your comfort in this system is going away. So you're going to have to, you know, choose your next play. You're going to have to. Have a plan. Because they got a plan. You got a plan. 
Well, your plan better start with the creator of the earth. Let's get it. The promise. Let's back it up. There are 12 major minority or Negro organizations familiar with the rest of the 22 million Negroes. Dossiers have been compiled on the leaders of the organization. So they're checking up on all the leaders already and can be studied in Washington. The material contained in many of the dossiers and our threat to reveal that material has considerably held in check some of the leaders. So they got the hijack and the blackmail already. Leaders who do not have such unusable material in their dossiers have been approached to take government posts, mostly as ambassadors and primarily in African countries. <laughs> so they're sending these Americans, right? They're sending these copper color Americans to where <laughs> African countries to train with the African leaders. All right. Come on, man. Let's go. No, man. It's crazy. So, however, we do not expect these slowdowns to be of long duration because there are always new and dissident elements joining these organizations and the potential power to replace the old leaders. All organizations and their leaders are under constant. All organizations and their leaders are under constant. Er, 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 all organizations and their leaders are under constant 24-hour surveillance. Now, that's when they had to get, you know, you know, techie. Now, you got cell phones, you know what I'm saying? You, you allow yourself to be surveyed. I got a cell phone sitting next to me right now recording everything I say. We're, we're conditioned to be in the Big Brother environment. We know they listen to everything. It's not even like a big deal no more. We're so conditioned to be spied on at all times. Like the Truman Show. You know what I'm saying? We spy on ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Drop our whole life. I, mean, I see people drop their whole life on social media. Their whole life. Their whole life. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. All organizations and their leaders are under constant 24-hour surveillance. The organizations are the black Muslims. So you know they've updated these, but this is to show you that this wasn't play play. The Black Muslims, man. Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, SNCC, Congress of Racial Equality, Yuhuru Movement, Group on Advanced Leadership, Freedom Now Party, United Black Nationalists of America. So again, this is all about black people. The New Pan-African Movement. Southern Christian Leadership Conference, that's all the MLK stuff, the National Urban League, all these were infiltrated, all of them. The National Association for Advancement of Colored People, Community Committee on Racial and Religious Progress, man. At the appropriate time to be designated by the president, the leaders of some of these organizations are to be detained. Only when it is clear that they cannot prevent the emergency. So first they'll try to use them to, you know, you know, be good puppets. But if they can't be a good puppet, if the people ain't listening or whatever, hey, they're going to be out of here first. They're going to get the leaders out first. <coughs> Just like last time, right? So this, it's nothing new. I mean, this ain't, we already know this plan. We know it oh so well. Working with local public officials during the first critical hours, they're going to try to use the leaders to work with local public officials during the first critical hours. All other leaders are to be detained at once. All other leaders are to be detained. Compiled list of minority leaders have been re readied at the National Data Computer Center. It is necessary to use these black leaders designed, designated by the president that's why I got to call them black. They've been designated by the president. So they're purposely trading. You know what I'm saying? Purposely being traitors to their tribe. Designated by the president just to jam you up, to knock you off course, to give you a false sense of leadership, to calm you down, right? To pacify you, right? 
these black minority leaders <laughs> designated by the president, handpicked, right, in much of the same manner in which we used minority members who are agents with this central and federal, with central and federal. So the same way they use us in those organizations against us, they use us against us. How do you think they conquered us here? They used us against us. Divide and conquer. And we cannot, until there is no alternative, reveal King Alfred in all his aspects. Oh boy. Minority members of Congress will be unseated at once. Minority members of Congress will be unseated at once. So first they take the leaders. Then they take down the black members of congress or the negroes right all the all of us that are in you know politics you say i'm doing something you know for my people and all this they take you down first you think you got a pass you're in a false pretense you're in an illusion you still belong to a tribe and they know you still belong to the tribe and they still take you down because you still belong to a tribe it's not about being black it's not about being, you know, American, you know, in their version. You got to be tribal, copper color tribes. You got to be original. You got to be the Khan again, man. They haven't forgotten that you're the Khan. Because now they're the Khan, right? American, American. They don't say Khan. They say Ken. Does this look like Ken to you? C-A-N, does that spell Ken? Do you teach a child C-A-N spells Ken? Well, yeah, you do because you teach them to say American. Amaru Khan! They want to take the frequency out so that they don't reveal the truth. But the truth is being revealed. As promised, on time. So they got everybody in this national data computer center. And they're going to use our Negro leaders all right, against us. All right? Just like they use our Negro people in these agencies. And then they said they cannot reveal it all, right? These minority or Negro members of the Congress will be unseated at once. This move is not without precedent in American History, meaning they did it before. Hmm. When? When, my Negro? Could we just talk to the Negro? This memo is being submitted in lieu of a full report by the Joint Chiefs of Staff. This report is now in preparation. There will be many cities where the minority, quote, unquote, will be able to put into the street a superior number of people. So, again, okay, look. Since, since we know that you're not the minority, I'm a, I can't even say that, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to say Negro, all right? So-called Negro. All right, you get it? Let's go. We got to, you know, get through the code, talk, let's go. So there are, they're admitting that you're going to take over the city. They're admitting you're going to take over. But they have a plan to take control, you know, right away as soon as possible but they do admit that you're going to take over your cities what they're not factoring in are your dragons yeah man i gotta keep putting that into into play because dragons play they're not they're not they're not telling you you know but they know they're scared to death about these dragons waking up right now all across the earth dragon eggs popping up all over the place Man, let me tell you. So keep your dragons at play. Don't your dragons will allow you not to have that that fear spell because it's something that's extremely attainable, something that is extremely real, something that is the greatest reality. You know, when it comes to the elements of earth, water, air, and fire, it is creation itself. Let's go. So it says you would be a formidable enemy. Let's back it up. It says this memo, again, this is from the Attorney General, Department of Defense, man. 
The Department of Defense is saying this memo is being submitted in lieu of a full report from the Joint Chiefs of Staff. That report is now in preparation. So they're going to come with something more full than this. But here's what they got. There will be many cities where the minority, excuse me, the Negro, will be able to put into the street a superior number of people. Remember they said it's going to be a total involvement, men, women, and children, right? Now you'll be able to put into the street a superior number of people. They're not saying that you'll be, you know, in the mountains with your trees or, you know, in what they're calling the wilderness, wilderness. They're not saying you'll be off the grid. They're assuming you'll be in the street. They're assuming you'll be that stupid to go fight them on their own terms, right? Because you have no other option. Because you love the city life so much, you'll never let it go. But what if you didn't love the city life? What if you didn't love the 5G EMF radiation constantly, the bombardment of poisonous, cancerous frequency, poison water, poison food? What if you didn't like to be poisoned 100% of the time? What if you went home? But let's see it how the hijack plays it out. We're in the mind of a hijack right now. So there will be many Negroes, <laughs> many cities where the Negroes will be able to put the, put into the street a superior number of Negroes. Try, con, with a desperate and dangerous will. He will be a formidable enemy, for he is bound, the Negro is bound, the Negro is bound to the continent. The Negro is the American. The Negro is the copper color race found here. Found here. You can't tell us who we are. You just found us here. Found here by the European. You can't tell us who we are if you just found us here, my man. So, when we're just talking the Negro. Copper color Negro, the copper color con, right? The copper color con. The Negro, the minority, right? The Negro is bound to the continent. What continent? America. So let's let's fill in all the all these convenient gaps that they're leaving so we can put it together and break the spell. The copper color con is bound to America, America, by heritage. Hold up, man. American, American, right? A native of America. What, what's a native? Sometimes I just need to get some clarity. Oh, produced by nature. Original. Born with the being. <laughs> what is the being? Huh? Is that your soul? Born with a soul? Oh my goodness. Nature. Natural. Not acquired. Not synthetic. They're actually real people. Produced by nature. Original. Born with a being. With the being. With a wa. Natural. Nature. Original. Got it. Got it. American. An original. With a soul. Produced by nature of Hawa. Well, what do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. Produced by nature. Well, 
what's we looked up native, they got we got nature produced by nature. What's nature? Shit, what's nature? In eighteen twenty eight. We we need to know the drop so we can decipher this shit. In a general sense, whatever is made or produced, a word that comprehends all the works of God. Nature is used for the agent, creator, author, producer of things or for the powers that produce them. By the expression, trees, fossils are produced by nature. By the... <laughs> Come on, man. I can't make this up. We're doing all this to see what the hijack is talking about. So we can overcome and overstand in the mind of a hijack when we're reading Rex 84. And we're going to touch on some more great docs. Let's just get this, man. By the metonym of the effect for the cause, nature is used for the agent, creator, creator, the creator. Got it? Nature is what they're using as the creator because this is what the hijack does. Talking about comprehending all the works of Hawa, God, right? Hawa, oh, the universe. Of a phoenix, we say there is no such thing in nature. Remember, produced by nature. They said American, a native. Native means produced by nature. But what does produced by nature mean? It means to the hijack. Let's go. Produced by nature. We mean <laughs> they are formed or produced by certain inherent powers in matter or <laughs> we mean they trying to tell y'all man they trying to tell y'all hijack trying to tell you what he meant right? or we mean that they are produced by God the creator the author of whatever is made or produced <laughs> independent of a, the opinion that Things are produced by inherent, produced by inherent powers of matter independent of a supreme intelligence author is atheism. So when they say produced by nature, they mean produced by God, produced by the creator. That's what a native is, right? Native. Produced by nature. Original, right? Produced by Hawa. Produced by the creator. Let's go. <laughs> so what do we say? So we can see what they say. So we can have perspective when we read Rex 84. That an American is produced by Hawa. In America. For he is bound to the continent, America, by heritage. Bound by heritage. Produced by nature. Produced by the creator of America. Originally applied to the originals or the copper colored tribes, man. That they just found here, man. But now... But now apply. Oh, 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 got it. Now apply to the descendants of Europeans born right here on this continent. But we are already, they just gave you the drop, bound to the continent by heritage. Because you're the American, con. Produced by nature. Produced by Hawa. The creator. Again, he will be a formidable enemy for he is bound to the continent by heritage and knows that political asylum will not be available to him in other countries because he don't know he's a prisoner of war. And you do get asylum if you're a prisoner of war on your own land. When you just wake up and know they're talking about you 
because you are the copper color races found here by the Europeans. Yeah, you get asylum. You're the Indian. Yeah, you get asylum. You're a prisoner of war. And the Papal Bull Doom Dog Verses 1452 tells you that. For he is bound, bound to the continent by heritage and knows that the political asylum will not be available. Well, maybe he knows better. The greatest concentration of the Negro copper color con, the American, is in the deep south, the eastern seaboard, the Great Lakes region, and the west coast. Man. While the national population exceeds that of the Negro con by more than 10 times, we must realistically, realistically take into account the following. And they're not sure about that, that, that they outnumber us by 10. Like That's how they talk, double talk, so that they can feel better. It said, one, an estimated 40 to 50 percent of the white population will not for various reasons engage the negro during an emergency well that's just big facts i'm sure the numbers are bigger than that two american armed forces are spread around the world a breakout of war abroad means fewer troops at home to handle the emergency three local law enforcement officials must contain the emergency until help arrives though it may mean that it may mean fighting a superior force so y'all gonna have to take some l's they say we sacrificing our own people they're gonna put the minority at the front to fight us the same way they put the minority at the front to fight us before they use our own people our own people that traded on our own people to fight the traders had to fight the tribe it was tribe versus traitor New York City, for example, has 25,000 man police force, but there are about 1 million Negroes. <laughs> All right, so they got superior weapons, but they're going to have to hold off a million Negroes with that. So they, they get weapons based on, on this war that they're planning. We are confident that the minority will hold any city it took for only a few hours. So if they gave you a few hours then, that the Negro would take the city for, for about a, three or four hours, what if your dragons return? Maybe their window closes. The lack of weapons, facilities, logistics, all put the Negro at a final disadvantage. The lack of what? Weapons. Are they factoring in Phineas? Free Phineas. Free Phineas. Free Phineas. Your dragon being held right now in Fort Tryon. Fort Tryon Park, man. In Upper Manhattan, Fort Tryon State Park, man, Free Phoenix, a real great American dragon. Are they factoring that in with your lack of weapons? Maybe their logistics are off. Since the Korean War, this department has shifted Negro members of the armed forces to areas where combat is most likely to occur. You got family in any branches in the armed forces. They're going to do what they did before. They're going to put them at the front of the war that they're coordinating and orchestrating against their own people. And then what else? Minority members of the armed forces have been shifted since the Korean War. This department has shifted Negro members of the armed forces to areas where combat is most likely to occur with the aim of eliminating through combat as many combat trained military service men as possible today the ratio of negro member combat deaths in vietnam where they are serving as advisors <laughs> is twice as high as the Negro population ratio to the rest of America. Below is the timetable for King Alfred as tentatively suggested by the JCS who recommend that the operation be made over a period of eight hours. I told y'all eight hours they had a plan around every one of you Negroes in America. The actual 
copper colored American. They have a plan to round all these copper coloreds up. Let's go. Within the first hour, man, I mean, eight hour period, let's go. Number one, local police and Negro leaders in action to head off the emergency. So they're going to use our Negro leaders against us. Let's go. Two, the countdown to eight hours begins at the moment the president declares the emergency to be a national coordinated or a long duration. All right. So if it's the eighth hour, it's a long duration emergency, and now he can enact the plan. He has to, he has to, you know, or I guess it just means national coordinated or of any long duration. But then it says eighth hour, so I guess that's the countdown right there. So let's go. Here's the countdown. Eighth hour. Uh, county police join police force, local police in the seventh hour. So the county, the county police and local police join forces in the seventh hour. The state police join county and local police in the sixth hour. Federal marshals join state, county, and local forces in the fifth hour. National guards federalized held in readiness in the fourth hour. Regular armed forces alerted, take up positions. Listen up. You got people in the military. Let's go. Minority troops divided and detained. So first they use you against your own tribe, your own copper color races found here by the Europeans. This war is still happening right here. Now... They took your Negro ass and did what? And I'm just being trivial. Because, man, you have decisions to make and you have to make them as quick as possible. Because they have readiness. You need to be ready if you're in these situations. Don't think you all good. Don't think you're slipping by. National Guards federalizing the fourth hour. Regular armed forces, that's all the all the branches alerted, take up positions. The Negro, the blacks, the African Americans will be divided and detained along with all white sympathizers, because you know some white people are gonna try to have their back and they already know who them who who they are. It's like, yep, yeah, get ready to get uh, you know, you know, uh branch, you know what I mean, uh uh Jesse, you know, he he kicks it with uh, Jerome, you know what I mean? Whatever, whoever, oh, he, he got a best friend over here. They're running these people through tests, you know what I'm saying? They're asking them questions behind the scenes to see where their head is at. And they'll label him, man, oh, he's a white sympathizer. He sympathizes with the copper color races found here. He sympathizes with the American, with the Indian, right? With the indigenous, with the original. With the native produced by nature, a why. That's the third hour. All minority leaders, national and local, are detained in the second hour. It's the countdown. They maintain, they they detain all Negro leaders, African American leaders, black leaders, whatever you want to call it, man. Copper cutter leaders, national and local, are detained. You think you got a local operation? It's whatever. That's what's happening. President addresses minority on radio television. All right. Addresses the black people directly on TV. Gives it one hour to end the emergency. Can't you see Trump doing some shit like this? Can't you see him on? Look here, you know, you guys need to stand down. Can't you see who's going to be making this speech? Can't you already see who's looking to make this type of speech or somebody like him? So you you know what it looks like. You've seen this before. Let's go. That's the first hour. All units under regional commands into the emergency at the zero hour. Zero hour committee report survey shows that a six hour period production created 9,000 objects or 15,000 each year. Objects. Man. Uh, production could not dispose of the containers which 
provided a bottleneck. All right, they're talking about they're talking about vaporizing black people. They're talking about vaporizing not just the black leaders, but all the people that they're rounding up. But they just got the leaders out the way at the first hour, the second hour. They're detained. You know, they're going to be thrown into this what vaporation, right? All units under regional commands are into the emergency. Everybody goes all in, all units, all in at the zero hour. Now they're bottlenecking. Now they're throwing people in, disposing people, vaporizing people in these containers. However, that was almost 20 years ago. He's referring, remember this was what, in the 40s? When this was originally done, like in the 50s? So they were really just talking about uh, Hitler and all that. So he had, you know, his situation with his Nazi Germany. Here we go right here. All right, let's read it. We suggest that vapor it vaporization techniques be employed to overcome the production problems inherent in the King Alfred. Production problem. So they already been trying this, vaporizing people, and it bottlenecked it. The It was too many bodies for the system. You understand what I'm saying? That's how many people they're killing. The Zero Committee report is referring to the problem that occurred in Nazi Germ Germany when the furnaces were not hot enough to burn the bodies that Hitler had killed. The bodies clogged up the furnaces, bottleneck, right? Clogged up the furnaces, thereby causing a problem that the above committee reports avoided. Avoiding, it recommends avoiding by building high volume nuclear powered incinerators that burn 5,000 degrees. It should be noted that steel melts at approximately 2,700 degrees. They get excited. Look at that big exclamation mark. They're excited to burn up a noggin. They're excited to burn up a noggin. So they got their uh, rail, railway trains, man, and all that. You got this links, man. Pull it up below. Let's keep it going, man. Pull up this link from the NationalLibertyAlliance.org. The location of concentration camps in America. There are over 800 prison camps in the United States, all fully operational and ready to receive prisoners. They are all staffed and even surrounded by full-time guards, but they are all empty. Well, they were. All right, they got starting out with the uh, you know Mexican children at the border and doing all these crazy stuff, man. So they're just getting prepped. They're just starting to detain people and put them in there crossing the border or uh, Guantanamo Bay's and you know what I'm saying all these prison camps that are you know popping off the Walmart situation, of course. These camps are to be operated by FEMA. You got Hawaii, FEMA showing up in Hawaii, you know, throwing people on these boats. All martial law need to be implemented in the United States, and all it would take is the presidential signature on a proclamation and the attorney general's signature on a warrant to which a list of names is attached. Man. Do you really want to be on the list? We were on the list when we were born. Because we are the copper color naga. So we're in the war whether we want to. You ain't got no choice. I'm, ain't nobody asking you to make a choice. You choosing up, you know what I'm saying, is making further choices. But you don't got no say about what's happening in this war. You only can make a choice about how you react to waking up and being a prisoner of war. Do you, you know, consider yourself with the 22 million running in the streets? Or will you be the nagas? That choose up and have a safe haven, have land, you know, have somewhere that the Most High is leading you to, tribing up, give yourself the best chance. But being in the streets on the grid is the worst chance, man. And that's what it is. No one's saying that, oh, if you do this, you know, whatever. But the Most High is telling us to assemble ourselves. So someone is actually saying, <laughs> let go. Rex 84 program was established on the reasoning that if a what? Mass exodus of what they're calling illegal aliens, man. Well, you know, your dragons are illegal. Uh, I guess you were illegal ever since they came over here and took the title American, you know. Now applied to the descendants of the Europeans born here. That made you a what? Illegal immigrant. You are illegal on your own turf. You're in slavery on your own land. And Martin Luther King even told you that. The Negro, 
the Negro is in exile on his own land. And if this Negro wake up, oh, it's a problem. They get scared. They got this whole plan. A mass exodus for these illegal people. Oh, crossing the Mexican and U.S. border. So you see how they are. You see how this is affecting and being validated right now. That's why we're bringing this document back out. Because we see it happening right now, man. And, you know, don't train yourself to be like, oh, well, I ain't going to have no heart. Like, you know what I mean? I got a heart for everybody that's suffering. I'm not going to judge anybody and saying they're getting what they deserve. You know what I mean? Children are getting what they deserve. You know what I mean? Thrown into detention centers. This is way back then. This is, this is 1984 they're talking about this. And that wasn't the first time this King Office plan popped up. It was like, I think the 50s or 60s, the first draft. This was like the re, the remix. Rex 84 was the remix. Now they got a re-remix. They probably got Rihanna singing on this one. They probably got Chris Brown on the hook in the video. But this remix, man, let's go. Using our own people against us. Because they planning for a what? Mass exodus. They would be quickly rounded up and detained, man. In detention centers by who? FEMA. Oh, FEMA got all the drop. FEMA got all the drop. Rex 84 allowed many military bases to be closed down and turned into prisons. So you got Guantanamo, all these other big military camps will hopefully have time to go through a few of those. And they're now what? Prisons. They were military bases. Now they're prisons. If you are in the military, you're in a walking, talking prison. Operation Cable Splicer. Uh, that's one of the ones we mentioned. And Garden Plot, another one that we mentioned, are the two sub programs which will be implemented once the Rex 84 program is initiated for its proper purpose. So there's sub programs of Rex 84. That's why we got that first Garden Plot is the program to control the population. So Garden Plot has everything to do with population control and look when you're talking operation garden plot man love to die wood con number nine or homicide 540 or i have a dragon man <laughs> what would it do just put it all together fam <laughs> operation garden plot the department of defense civil disturbance plan again negro disturbance plan and they call it by the crypto name garden plot can you see can you see clearly Whose garden? The garden of Eve. The garden of Eden. The garden. You're in the promised land, right? The garden of Eden that Columbus knew was over here. There's a plot to take it. <coughs> oh boy. Let me get my alkaline for this dismount. You're going to need the energy up. Because there's a plot to take your garden. Yo, you love to plant? There's a plot to take your garden. Was a general U.S. Army and National Guard plan to respond to major domestic civil disturbances within the United States? The plan, man, Negro disturbances that they're coordinating, right? The plan was developed in response to the civil dis disorders of the 60s that they coordinated and fell under the control of the U.S. North Command, NORTHCOM. It provides federal, military, and law enforcement assistance to local government during times of major civil disturbances. The Garden Plot Plan. The plan to take your garden. To plot. To take your plot. <laughs> drafted by the Watts. Drafted after the Watts. That's the L.A. riots. So, these L.A. riots scared these people so much. That they had a, now a plan, a plan, so that they can orchestrate the next one and do what? New Newark, the uh, New Jersey riots, man, uh, Detroit riots, all that popped off that they orchestrated. These people are reacting. These copper colored nagas are reacting to these Europeans that are that are now applied. That, that are taking the titles. These descendants. They are reacting to their title being taken, and now they're just illegal aliens, right? They're just illegal 
There's a plan in place to control the population, man. So it's the garden plot plan. Go check it out. Put up the link. It's saying captures the ac acrimonious times when the document was drawn up. The section outlining the army's perception of the situation in America. <laughs> You're in a situation for real, for real, huh? Certainly insinuates existence of the establishment who fear the disenfranchised. They fear the disenfranchised because your franchise has been dissed, dismissed, dismissed. They've dismissed your franchise. They've dismissed your order. And they fear those that they've put into chaos. They fear the copper-colored races found here that are the American, that they want their title back, they land back, and the creator already promised to return his people and return their land, and they fear it. They fear the disenfranchised, right? The plot warns against racial unrest, Negro unrest, nigga unrest, as well as anti-draft, anti-Vietnam. Again, the Pentagon activated garden plot to restore order. What order? You mean chaos for these people during 1992. Their order is not your order. Their peace ain't your peace. Their free ain't your free. Duplicity, their American ain't your American, man. This American ain't that American. This American, this European born here in America, ain't the original, ain't the native. Let's go. Man, get in a drop chat. Stop playing. So that's a little bit on that garden plot, though. Oh, man. So we got the uh, garden plot is a program to control the population. Cable Splicer is the program for orderly takeover. Whose order? Of the state, local governments by the federal government. And FEMA is the executive arm of the coming police state. Coming police state. Police state. And thus will help head up all operations. So FEMA got the keys to what? All operations, man. FEMA. <laughs> hey, man, don't sleep on it. Man, don't sleep on it. These guys got all the juice. The camps all have railroad facilities for what? Railroad facilities for what? To do what? To roll you up in there and vaporize your ass with their what? Incinerators. Because of all this bottlenecking and their furnaces and their incinerators that burn up to 5,000 degrees, man. The camps all have railroad facilities as well as roads leading to and from the the detention centers, man. They got the biggest one in Alaska that holds up to 20,000 prisoners. They got these executive orders ready at the stroke of the president's pen. Let's go. Executive orders associated with FEMA. So FEMA has the keys to this. They keep saying president, but really FEMA has the keys. Executive Order 10990 allows the government to take over all modes of transportation and control highway and seaports. 10995 allows the government to seize and control the communication media. 10997 allows the government to take over all electrical power, gas, petroleum, fuels, and minerals. 10998, that's your goal, people. 998 allows the government to seize all modes of transportation, including your personal car. They can say, give me your car under Executive Order 10998. Trucks, vehicles, any kind. 10999 allows the government to take over all food resources and farms. 1100 allows, 11,000 allows the government to mobilize civilians into work brigades. That's slavery. That's ball and chain slavery, man. That's the chain gang under government supervision. That's the chain gang. Put anybody in the chain gang. Mobilize Negroes into work brigades. Slavery. 11001 allows the government to take over all health, education, and welfare functions over the Negro. 1100 
1102 designates the postmaster general to operate a national registration of all persons so your post office will be over you that's why there's a post office near you 11003 allows the government to take over all airports and aircraft commercial aircraft man you can't you ain't flying nowhere 11004 allows the housing and finance authority to reload communities so they take your house they take your car you ain't flying 11,005 allows the government to take over all railroads, all transportation, man. 11,051 specifies the responsibility of the Office of Emergency Planning and gives authorization to put all executive orders into effect in times of increased international tensions and economic and fi financial crisis. So everything gets pretty much consolidated. Let's go. 11310 grants authority to Department of Justice to enforce the plan set out. In the executive orders, all right, 11,049 allows emergency preparedness function to federal departments and agencies consolidating 21 operative uh, executive orders issued over the 15 period. Again, they're, they're just, or, you know, it's the hijack, man. Let's go, man. 11,921 allows the federal emergency preparedness agency to develop plans to establish control over the mechanism of production, distribution of energy, sources, wages, salaries, Look, man, they just hijacking you, man. And read the rest, man. All right, then they got all these. This shows you where each one is in each state. Arizona got one called Hawakuka. Hawakuka in Arizona. I mean, uh, yeah, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Florida, Georgia. These are all where prison camps are. Hawaii, they got FEMA already there. They got detention centers already there in Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, everywhere. You'll see your state, I'm sure. And this is real spill, man. You know what I mean? And you can pull up these documents here, man. This is a, a crazy document, man, from... Man, this is crazy stuff. This is a... This is a memorandum for deputy assistance to the president for national security affairs. This is called Night Train 84, just like Rex 84. <coughs> this was signed by Colin Powell, the same play play, Night Train. All right, Night Train 84. Right in your face, man. Ames. Exercise and evaluate selected procedures for controlling, implementing, and processing nuclear actions. Evacuate effectiveness of installed and deployed command and control equipment. I mean, these are all their aims, man. You know, whatever, whatever, man. You just need to know what's happening. Integral to this will be the live fly portion of the SAC's exercise global shield. Global shield, what are they shielding? What are they shielding themselves from? Live launch, so again, it's an attack on you. They're putting you in incinerators, but they're also creating a shield against what? Because they know your dragons are real. And they're trying to shield the dragons of Hawaii. They're trying to shield themselves from their own judgment. These are all the participating agencies, man. You can get all this drop. Escalatory exchanges of thermonuclear weapons are programmed only in the initial phase of the exercise and will culminate in the major strategic nuclear exchange between the USSR and the United States. So again, you update that today, but they're still talking Putin and Russia, right? They're still keeping the puppet show in play. They got other coordinated, you know. Exercise night training routine, a routine worldwide command post exercise. So when they have these routine exercises working with all these people, they're still using these same code names, will be conducted by the organization of the Joint Chiefs of Staff between 5 and 13th of April, 1984. The exercise is part of the JCS-sponsored uh, CPX program, which is routinely conducted locally and worldwide to test command and control procedures. Yeah, man. Well, it's connected to Rex 84. So don't think this is something else. That's why we read Rex 84. So that when we read Night Train 84, you know that this is all still about the Negro 
Naga copper colored people. They are rounding you up. What else are they preparing for? You're saying it would make no sense unless you knew that your dragons are returning. So get that night train 84. I'll also leave this with you the planning policy statement 23, which has some great drop in it. You know, all connected is also called the PP. The PPS 23 Planning and Pollution Control. You know, going into more about, you know, their, you know, covert procedures to, you know, kill off the population, in other words, man. But they make it sound so nice, man. Oh, sustainable development, you know. Again, they're talking about their own sustainability, not yours. So you got that, pull it up, man, and, you know, go through these. You know, you got the water. Cable splicer. This is some more drop on. This cable splicer that you can read about as well. You know what I mean? And it just goes off, man, from day to day. You, so it gives, it gives you all the updates as they're doing the training from this cable splicer and what it is today. Combat troops deployed to Los Angeles response to riots 1992. After two days of widespread rioting in the city of Los Angeles, Tom Bradley, Mayor Tom Bradley, and Governor Pete Wilson asked the White House for military assistance to supply the California National Guard. President George H.W. Bush de deploys 2,500 soldiers in the Army's 7th Infantry Division from Ford Ord and 1,500 Marines from Camp Pendleton. Bush also federalizes approximately 8,000 National Guard troops. All three groups are placed under the command of Major General Marvin Kovult, Kovult as part of the decades-old Pentagon, Pentagon program, codename Operation Garden Plot. We just got that. Combat troops equipped with M16 rifles, flat jackets, helmets, ride batons, are the first to enter a U.S. city since 1972. So, first time in 20 years they used the actual army, the actual troops and military on civilians. You know what I'm saying? And this is what they plan on doing now. Marines take up positions in Compton and Long Beach. Army troops are sent to patrol the streets of Watts. And National Guard soldiers are deployed throughout the area. In the, telev in the television address, Bush says the military will use whatever force is necessary to restore order. You'll hear that again. You'll hear that again, man. Pull up that link, man. Last one I'm going to drop on y'all is the uh, Global 2000. All right, the Global 2000 Depopulation Program, man. This awareness indicates that it that this as associated with the Global 2000 plan of diminishing the population of Earth. And again, man, much a hop to uh, Ray Hagen's because he dropped all these, and I will leave the link also to the Ray Hagen's drop. This awareness indicates that this plan was devised some time back, approximately ten years previously and has been in development for some time, this awareness indicates that this, this as having certain justification from a particular viewpoint, all right, you're in the mind of a hijack, it entitles, if, enti if entitled, entitles can accept such justification, if entitles can accept such justification, all right, man. this awareness indicates that in looking at this from the viewpoint of the world planners, the hijack, those who manipulate the masses to understand their thinking, not to condone their thinking. This awareness wishes you, wishes you to give at this time the scenario of why and how they came to this conclusion. This awareness indicates that the resources of the earth are quickly being depleted by the consumers of the earth who are multiplying at alarming rates, mushrooming in terms of population growth. So that proportionally they are increasing in number in quantum leaps. The resources on earth being in limited supply are. So you know who's, who's talking about the resources being depleted. Only a virus. Only a parasite. Who's spreading across the earth body. Depleting the resources. But you didn't. You never had a problem with that. They came over here. You were in paradise. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> you over here on your canoes man. And, and, and you know doing what it do they're coming over here oh man the resources the resource because they don't know how to take care of the earth so they deplete 
they just build and build and build and pollute and pollute and they blame it on your population the resources on earth being in limited supply are being depleted virus depleted by these increasing number of entities of hunger and desirous beings because we put them in these desirous situations scenarios to the world planners to hijack are of little more significance than the numbers on a computer so to the to the hijack these desirous hungry people are nothing but numbers on a computer and it goes on man you know <laughs> until this awareness this awareness man the global 2000 population reduction plan officially began during the carter administration the current plan stems from the global 2000 report to the president an 800 page study submitted by the state department and the council on environmental quality to carter first printed in great britain in 1982 however the mass genocide idea which was originally started about 10 years ago by members of the club of rome huh? Hijack 101, according to the Spiral Report, Volume 111, Number 3, March 1982. And I'll just read this last little part right here, letter of transmittal, just the first paragraph. Sir, in your environmental message in the Congress of May 1977, you directed the Council on Environmental Quality and the Department of State working with other federal agencies to study the probable changes in the world's population natural resources and environment through the end of the century this endeavor was to serve as the foundation of our long-term planning the effort we then undertook to project present world trends and to establish a foundation for planning is now complete and we are pleased to present our present report to you what emerges are not predictions but rather projections developed by the U.S. government agencies of what will happen to population resources and environment if present policies continue. And, you know, talking about, oh, everything's going to go to hell, so therefore we need to implement our plan. You know, we create chaos. We create a depleted, you know what I'm saying, uh, industry of natural resources. We deplete the natural resources, but now... We want to talk about zero population growth. Well, really, they're talking about their own population growth, you know what I'm saying, being depleted. They're talking about their own birth rate, their own birth rate going into a negative zone because they're not producing children at the same pace as the natural people, the natives, right? The natives produced by nature, original, born with the being, natural, not acquired. Natural, man. Natural. Conferred by birth. You have a birthright. As native rights and privileges produced by nature. Well, what's nature? Produced by... Produced by God. Produced by Wa. Produced by our creator. Allow why let's get a couple minutes of this Bobby excuse me, I'm about to say Bobby Hemming, man. We've been dropping that Bobby Hemming on the drive. Let's get some of this Hagens, man. Let's get some of this Dr. Ray Hagens, man, and uh flow on out. Much of high for surfing the wave. I know it's a tough topic sometimes, but know that you are really